Hi, I'm Wake Speed Jr., Certified Lubrication Specialist and Oil Monitoring Analyst. Today, we're gonna take a look at a new oil sample, sometimes called a virgin oil sample, or VOA. Essentially, this is a sample of oil that's never been in the engine. These are very useful samples to take because it lets you know what your oil looked like before it went into the engine. It's a great comparison point to the used oil. That way you can see how much viscosity was lost, if any, uh, if there was any additive consumption or contamination from maybe a previous oil or some kind of additive or, or something like that. It's just a great baseline to have as you begin your analysis journey because the trend analysis from fresh oil to used oil is part of that overall picture that helps you understand the health and the condition of your engine and your oil. So let's jump in. Today's is gonna be Mobile One 15W50. Now that's a 50 grade oil, right? And so that means it's gonna be between 16.5 and 21.9 centistokes. So that's the measured flow rate. So when you're looking at the new oil sample, what you wanna look at is viscosity first. It's the most important characteristic of any oil. So in this case, it's 18.9, right in the middle of that 50 grade range, about what you would expect. Now you wanna drop down to the oxidation value. Now this is key to understanding the chemistry of the oil. You may have heard terms like ester base or full synthetic and things like that. A synthetic oil that has ester, which is a type of base oil in the blend, will typically have an oxidation value new of 40 or higher. I mean, we've seen some fully ester oils where the oxidation is over 100. That's the baseline. So don't worry about what that number is. It's knowing about what that baseline is and how it changes over time. Now, there are some synthetics that don't contain ester, they contain maybe a group three or an alkylated naphthalene. We can explain those terms in a different video. It'll have a lower oxidation value. In this case, it's 7.3, which means, okay, we, don't, we know there's no ester in this formulation. It's gonna be a group three or it's gonna contain alkylated naphthalene to make that happen. We can also go down from there. Right, there's no potassium. There's a little bit of silicon, 4 ppm. That is antifoam. That's not dirt in the oil. That's just the antifoam additive in the oil. All those things are pretty normal so far. And then you've got calcium at 1149, magnesium at 458. That's the detergent package. And what this is telling me is that this is a new API SP additive package. In the old days, the calcium would have been probably 2,800 to 3,000 parts per million with a new additive package designed for direct injection engines. Those calcium numbers have come down. We've added some magnesium. And then you got the zinc and phosphorus right around 1,100 parts per million, which is about 300 parts per million higher than the max for the 5W30s and lower. Those oils are maxed at 800 parts per million phosphorus. So this being higher viscosity, it's allowed to have more, which makes it, you know, quote unquote, a oil, good oil for race applications or flat tap at cam engines, things like that. A little bit of molly, a little bit of boron, the things you would normally see. So this is a good overall oil, good general purpose oil. You can tell that by the balanced additive package. And again, a lot of that's because of going to the API SP. We know that this is a higher viscosity oil, a little bit more zinc and phosphorus, and we know what that baseline is. So that if you use this oil going forward, you can compare what these new oil values are to your used oil values to understand what's happening in your engine. Because sometimes if an engine's really unhappy, before it will show high wear metals, you can see consumption of the additive package. The additives are doing their job trying to prevent wear, but they're being consumed at a high rate, which isn't sustainable, eventually they get consumed out and the wear takes off. So that can be an early warning sign is the consumption of the additive package, which is why it's great to have a sample of the new oil to begin with to know what that additive package is. And because over time, groups like API change standards and specs from time to time, it's good to have a current sample of the oil to know what your additive package is because over time, it can change. So if you've got a sample from maybe six years ago, it had been a different additive package than it is today, even though it's the same brand, same viscosity oil. So I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching the video.